it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be working on Molly. Here we are in the beautiful Miata. This thing is just, just so much nicer than my other Miata. Oh my gosh, I don't realize it until I'm sitting in this thing. Like, this thing is so nice to be in. But, we are gonna be making it nicer. The interior is, well, kind of boring, kind of bland, and kind of stock. So, we're gonna be changing out the stock gauges with some drag strip rev limiter gauges, and the stock shift boot with a DND performance shift boot. The other awesome thing that we get to do today is fix the airbag light, because people have been complaining about that for so long, I'm finally fixing it today. So guys, let's go ahead and um, get started. That was harder than it looked. Those things aren't supposed to break off. Stupid old plastic. What you're going to hear about today is nothing short, nothing short. Nice and loose. Bada bing. Bada boom. That was pretty easy. It took me about, uh, you know, 20 minutes. I did break that hood thing, but, um,. Well, I can get a new one of those. That's the thing about this car, it's 29 years old, it's been sitting in the sun, the plastic is brittle. It's, it's, I didn't do anything wrong.
All right, so the gauges are installed, the needles are in. I went ahead and drove the car around while looking at the computer, monitoring the ECU, making sure the um, tack and the water temp was accurate. Put the oil pressure needle right at 30 at idle, because that's, that's where it usually is. Then I filled up my tank and put the fuel needle at full. It's a tad below full, but um, Oh well, that will make sure I never run out of gas. So now it's time to put everything back together. First the plastic cover, then that, and then the thing that goes around here, and we're all good. Real quick, I am going to dust these, make sure there's no dust on them, because don't want no dust on my nice pretty gauges. Oh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty, my goodness. Holy crap, is that gorgeous or what? So now the problem is that all the things holding this in broke off. It's floppy because the back things broke off, but it'll, it'll stay in place. Now we got a couple more things from RevLimiter to install, including an awesome yellow and black Miata horn button and some nice wrinkle vent ring. Now I don't exactly know if this horn button is going to work because it's meant for a Momo wheel and I have an NRG wheel, but um, let's try it. I, I kind of don't think it's gonna work, which is sad, but um, I mean, look at how pretty it is. So let's go ahead and install these. Plug the horn button that doesn't actually work because my hub's broken. Gotta fix that. It might work after all. Those look just about the same size. Oh, I think we're in luck, boys. I think this will work. The bolts that Energy gives you to bolt this in, they're so shitty. They're being stripped out like nothing. Like they're gonna be a bitch and a half to get out again. But um, they're in there. That looks great. This is kind of the tricky part getting this through here. Sounds like something broke, but don't worry, nothing breaks. So installing these vent rings is pretty easy. All you do is put a little bit of clear silicone around the inside edge and then put it on top of the old vent ring, just like that. Anybody want to tell me why these smell like vinegar? I feel like I'm eating salt and vinegar chips. It's delicious, but a little strange. Oh, that is beautiful. Looks like these are, there are some tabs along the edge to uh, get this baby out of here. And uh, I guess we just undo all those. And there we go. I'm going to be keeping this one and putting it in the Rally Miata because the one in the Rally Miata is torn. Here's our beautiful suede one from D&D Performance. It does not have the tabs that the factory one has, but I'm sure we'll just clamp it in there kind of. And voila. Gotta tighten it down more, but um, that looks sweet. Awesome, I think that's in, right? I'm not positive. Uh, if it's not, I can take it out and fix it. I'll be the first to admit that I was a little worried about how it would look in the car, but I think it looks spectacular. The red stitching matches the uh, hazard light pretty well. Although in the future, I think I might get one with green stitching. But other than that, that looks awesome. Thank you very much to D&D Performance for sending that out to me. Link will be in the description below if you want one. That is gonna be it for today, guys. We installed new gauges, a new horn button, some new vent rings, and a new shift boot. Just some simple modifications to really clean up the interior because the interior, it was just too stock. I mean, it was too boring, too factory. Words cannot explain how beautiful these gauges are. Like, oh my gosh, those things are just stunning.
stunning. And it works perfectly with the horn button. The reason why I chose these gauges with the, you know, the yellow and the red, which are, it's a little, it looks a little out there. It's a little extreme. One, it looks race car. I mean, it's beautiful. Number two, the tech goes all the way up to 9,000, which obviously this car can't rev to 9,000, but I think that's pretty cool. Call me a racer. And hey, maybe one day it can. Everything is simple looking. It still has kilometers per hour. The yellow and red match the AEM wideband. No, no, yes, there you go. The wrinkle paint vent rings match some of the stuff in the engine bay. This will also match the oil cap. The suede shift boot matches the suede on the seats, even though it's not the same stitching color. I just think everything went together really really awesome and it's just so much more pleasurable to be behind the wheel of this thing now i want to give a huge thanks to adam from rev limiter make some spectacular miata products and if you are interested in any of the stuff that i have here i'll have a link to his website in the description below he's also a really awesome guy and has a beautiful na like, I think that Miata is, is it's even prettier than Molly. It, that's, that's hard to say. I also like to give a huge thanks to D&D Performance for providing me with the shift boot. This thing is also gorgeous. It feels great. It looks great. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. I'm going to go take this car to the car wash and give it the first wash of the season. This thing has not been washed since last summer. And I can finally start driving her again. And then I can get some awesome shots of the new interior. So... Play that. Oh.